Hello everybody, my name is Bricky, and I know we're playing the spirit again. I know, totally weird, not what you expected, but I decided that, well first off, when I played the last game of the spirit, I had a really good time, I thought it was a lot of fun, but I also forgot that they actually buffed the spirit. They made all those changes that I wanted them to make, gave her a lot of good quality of life updates, and, and I forgot about that, and I kind of just didn't realize it. So, I want to play the spirit again for this video, and, you know, keep on having the, the good times that the spirit provides us with. Now, for the spirit build right now, I have Rancor, Barbecue, Chili, Sorry Butcher, and Hex Ruin 3, except for Rancor not being 3. And I'm using the same things that I used last time around, the Hairbrooch and the Amulet. Now, these... This is a pretty, a pretty good combo. This might be a little OP combo. I don't know why, but this gives you moderately increased, which I believe is the yellow version, of three separate things. Movement speed, duration, and recovery, and this increases the charge time. Now, if I wanted to, I could run this with something like the Rusty Flute, so the recovery speed of it becomes just insane. But... It all depends. Wait, removes phasing sound emission while using it. Yep. Okay, so this actually takes away the whoosh sound effect. That's pretty insane. Um, if you ever use the Wakazashi, this thing is pretty great. It makes you go super duper fast when you come out of it. But I'm actually going to keep the brooch because I like the charge time being reduced. Anywho, I'm going to be running the standard pedals for the event offering. And you're probably going to see a lot of no face cam bricky for the next couple of videos. Because today is one of those bulk days where I'm making like five or so videos all today. And spacing them out throughout the week. Because I am preparing myself for TwitchCon. As TwitchCon is arriving this, uh, this, this is weekend. Yeah, it's this weekend. It's arriving this weekend, and I want to make sure that it, you know, one, if you're coming, I'm going to have a meet and greet and everything, so please, you know, stop by, have a good time. But not just that, but also, you know, I want to get everything ready for when I'm gone so that you don't lose any content. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and jump cut the video to when I get a match in so you don't have to wait too long, and yeah. Okay, that took a really, really long time, but we finally have a, a, a match, so cool. It's kind of funny. During the time of me waiting, I was watching uh, Donkey's video on Black Ops 4. And you know, I was watching it, and you know, obviously it's a Call of Duty. Now, I, I personally think the new Black Ops game is actually really, really good. So I'm, I'm loving it. I think it's just fantastic. However, I know that, you know, he's him, so he's probably going to rip into it pretty hard. But as I was watching the video, I noticed he had Red Tiger camo on his sniper. And I'm like... Wait a minute. That actually takes a little bit of time to get. Whoa. You know? Is it, I don't know. For some, re for some reason, it's like, wait. Wait a minute. That's not right. It's like if you see somebody who makes a video on, I don't know, any any game. Let's let's go with Fortnite, right? They make a bunch, a bunch of videos, like, totally ripping into Fortnite. Like, just constantly bashing it. And you see they're playing with, like, the John Wick skin. You're like, wait a minute. Unless you bought that. You've been playing this game for a long time. <laughs> or Dead by Daylight. It's like, you know, man, Dead by Daylight is just... It's just all these problems has third prestige on every single killer. Hey, I'm, I'm a simple man, okay? But we're definitely going to have a couple uh, interesting videos going on this rest of the week. Uh, oh, no, Lampkin Lane. <sighs> ah, we'll see if this one works out. This might be a little bit difficult. I've always had a hard time with Lampkin Lane. It's so funny that I'm actually here, considering that I just finished watching Halloween, you know? Okay. Hi. Well, that is a very good start. Come on over. That is a very, very good start. That is a fantastic start. All right, up you go, honey. So where are, oh, they're over there. Well, might as well make my way over. The hollowed blight event. It's such a, the noise. Wow, that was actually incredibly quick considering that my Hex Ruin 3 is still up and about. Oh no. 
Well, that's a little bit frightening. And I didn't even take a long time to down them either. I took them down very quickly. I'm gonna make sure nobody's touching my totem. You know? Okay. Now, I didn't see any barbecue and chili stacks when I, when I hooked her. So I'm assuming that they were really nearby, but I can't quite tell. Maybe they're right here. They're not. I... Okay, there's the scratch marks to the hook. Hi. Okay. Found them. I was a little bit weirded out right there. Hi. Got him. All right, we can try this again. There's another hollowed hook somewhere over here. Really, they've got the um, the one that pushes me around. Is this what is this one? Boil over? I think it's boil over. Oh, cat, and it's working. All right, up you go. Okay, there's somebody. Though I don't know what they're working on. It looked like they were working on a generator, but their their body was in the wrong spot. Oh, they're working on one of the... What the hell? Everyone tries that. And I never understood why. I always found that to be really silly. Oh, they went back over here. And this time they're gonna have to jump off because they, uh... You know, they entitied the thing. Got him! It's always fun when you can play a good match of the spirit. Because she's definitely a more difficult killer to play. And it w if you can do things right, like really get some good good hits off and, and outplay the survivors, you can really, really have a good time, you know? <laughs> they know I have barbecue and chili. They knew it. They knew it. Alright. Well, there's all the scratch marks. Wow. Not just all the scratch marks. It's 99% scratch marks right there. Oh, there they are. Running away. Wait, are they running to the hook? Oh, they are running. Wow, those scratch marks lasted for much longer than I expected. Wait a minute. Didn't I just hook you? Or was that somebody else? I think I hooked the other Meg. There are two Megs? Hello. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, yeah, I already did hook this Meg before. Ah, uh, there's a... Oh, there's two Blight hooks over here. They popped a lot of Blight things, too. I mean, do... I don't know, because I haven't done the Survivor section of this thing yet. So, I, I'm assuming, though, that the Survivors are forced to, like, work on those little Blight sacks. In order to, you know do the event. So that's kind of a nice idea because that gives them something to do that isn't gen, so it slows the game down a little bit. But I'm surprised that they actually decided to put something in the game like that. I mean... I won't complain, but it definitely makes my game a little bit easier. Or my life a little bit easier. Ah, Claudette, Claudette, Claudette. What are you doing, Claudette? I may only be 110% movement speed, but I'm 110% beautiful. Alright, up you go. What are you doing? I'm just gonna drag her over to that hook over there, because it makes it easier. As they attempt to get that totem. Which they probably will, unfortunately. But, that's okay. I'm stuck. Oh. Oh, I was... Wow. Their body body blocked me. I'm sad. This makes me sad. I got this. I didn't have this. Wait, how did... Wait, where'd they go? Oh, they went that way. Oh. Hello. It's me! You see, I had a feeling... But I wasn't sure. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, she is still here. Because I heard her, but I was very confused. I heard her sound, but I was like, wait, that's your only, like, avenue to travel to. Like, why, why aren't you there? And, and then I see what happened. All right, I saw that Meg make her way down in the, underneath there. So I'm gonna cause some pain. Hello. That was fun. That was really fun to be able to do that correctly. To just kind of like, I know. Oh, wait. Oh. She went underneath. Wait, why would you go that direction? Wait, what was what was the reason for this? That was a really silly choice right there, Nia. There was a pallet right there for you. What? What? Yeah. What are you? What are you doing, Nia? What do you think you're doing? You're going around thinking you're so cool. Guy putting you on a hook. You being all like, "Ooh, I'm so cool. I'm a, I'm a Nia. I'm gonna." Be all sneaky and hide away, and then I was just like, "Well, blam!" Wow, that made my life a lot easier. Thank you, Meg, for doing that. Wait, why is she running so far in that direction? All you're gonna do is make it easier for me to arrive. Hello, Megan. I don't think you've got dead hard. Shank. This is actually death hook for her too. I'm getting a lot of points this game. It's very nice. I don't know how many you get every time you hang somebody on one of those special blight hooks, but it's definitely not too bad. All right. Well, those two are dead. The last two are all the way over here. I wonder if maybe... Ooh. Look at that. They... Oh, they got it. They actually got the gen. Oh, no. Now the possibility of them getting away via the hatches here. Ah, damn, I miss I miscalculated. That should be fine. I'm gonna have to wait for my thing to recharge anyway, but this should be fine. I have an idea. Hmm, I have another idea. I can just chill here. Hold up. Check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my... Well, I'm going to bait her first. Never mind. I, I had this whole other plan. You see, my original plan was I was going to bait her with, with that. And if it didn't work, I was simply just going to uh, go into my, my special spirit form. Because the husk is actually a physical entity. The husk can be body block, or can body block. And with the husk being able to body block, it allows me to, well, block the, the use of that pallet. And if I can block the use of that pallet, then I would be able to just run at her and she wouldn't have anywhere to go to. But I suppose it works just as well if I can do that. Well, there's the hatch. That makes my life very easy. Now all I need to do is find the Nia. And there's a possibility that she might skirt past my vision just very lightly, even if I do see her. But I always, I, I tend to like to take this little vantage point on Haddonfield because it allows me to get, a, obviously, a very nice view of the area. But um, also, you know, there's the, there's the hatch, so it makes it even easier. If I see her, like, moving about way over there on the other side of the map, I can go turn into spirit form and, like, fly my way over there. The only downside is you can't see anyone behind you, which is, of course, naturally a uh, naturally a little bit of a, a little bit of a detriment. But it's nothing too bad. She is unfortunately not wounded, so I can't get anything good in terms of like sound effects or, or blood trails. But she's out there somewhere. Was that her over there behind that tree, or was that just some leaves? I'm gonna find out. Nah, that was just some leaves. Damn it, Bricky. Well, at this point, 
If I don't see them almost immediately, I kind of get to the point where I'm just like, you know, I have really no need to try, try to just stay on this hatch. If she finds it, she finds it, but, you know, like, I mean, it's, it's the hatch standoff. She's going to win it regardless. So, I'm okay with just, you know, running around and searching. Alright, so I'm going to go search over here now. Good game, though. And I always, I always consider these the three and a half mans, you know, because the the hatch is is obviously a get out of jail free card. So I feel like that, you know, if the hatch didn't exist, this would be a, this would be a pretty easy four man. But I'm okay with with getting my nice three and a half man. It feels good. It always feels good. It, it, though it's the most enjoyable when you're able to kill all of them. Uh, there she is. Crap. No, 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 no. Don't, don't run outside. Don't run outside. Damn it, she ran outside. Is she... Fuck, 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 fuck. Nope. Not today. Not today, Nia. I will not accept this heresy. Not today. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I cannot believe that actually worked out in my favor. That was close. That was really close. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Woo-wee. Woo-wee. God. That felt so... That felt so satisfying, though. That felt so incredibly satisfying. Oh. All right, I want to see what they were running. Uh, oh, this toolbox probably is what got them that first gen really quickly. They had a skeleton key, but they had milky glass, so it didn't really matter. Oh. Yee. Flashlight, pretty standard. What were they running? They, they had boil over, which I noticed, but it was dead hard, dead hard. They did have a sprint burst. Um, oh, hey, that's nice. Thanks. Oh, thanks, buddy. That's quite nice. No one was using the new alert, though. I'm pretty sure the alert changes went through, and I'm kind of curious to see how those things turn out. All right, I'm going to snag that, and then I can snag this. This should be pretty nice. This should be a pretty good blood web. I was hoping I can actually... That was the first time I was actually hoping I could get the Wakazashi. Okay, how are we doing on stuff over here? Well, this would be better in terms of getting this entire blood web over with because there you go a little bit of uh snagging right there and then i can snag this one ah there we go some good blood web manipulation right there all right well i have a lot of videos for you today no face cam bricky videos or not today but you know throughout the week as i'm at twitchcon please go ahead and check them out and i'll see you soon Bye bye